Hello, let's play Team Escape. This time, Camden and Route... It doesn't say SS. I always look at that and think Route SS and then wonder what does that mean, and then my smart brain decided eventually to realize that it's Route 55, so that's the name of this one. Team Escape, not class restricted. I think it's a... Wow, I did not get my, my perfect launch, and I really thought I would. Anyway... Alright, so I'm just doing fantastic straight off the bat, and... Here we go! I think this event is a Spark Server exclusive. I'm not promising that. I don't know. I just... I, I think it is. Anyway, I'm using a Corvette. I don't like Corvettes. Why am I using a Corvette? I'm not sure. That's kind of a lie. I saw some very random Reddit post that happens to feature just a standard Corvette C6, just like this, except this is the Z06 version, because that's what's in the game. And it was about this color, a little bit paler, maybe? But, anyway, for some reason I saw it and someone said something about, Oh, th that generation of Corvette's just beautiful and I'm not even a fan of, of muscle cars generally. And I looked at it and I thought, I kind of agree with all of that. I'm not usually a muscle car fan particularly. That is changing over time and I am just getting pushed around. Why is this so slow? Get out of my way! Dear golly, this probably looks like it's in slow motion, but this is just how it's acting. Anyway, again, I'm not particularly a muscle car fan, or a Corvette fan, but for whatever reason I took a look at this and agreed, and, and now I like it. However, I am swiftly realizing I am not impressed by its performance in this game. Especially when you're not moving very fast, it doesn't want to get going very fast, which is weird. So I have a question about muscle cars. I've noticed in a lot of racing games that there are two strange issues with muscle cars that seem to be reproduced across a line of different games, and I... What is this? Is this a real-world thing? One, their red line always seems excessively low, about 5,000-something RPM. I know in some of the more recent Need for Speed titles, my favorite example is the Ford Mustang Fox Body from, I think, the 90s, and in all of those games, other cars, its red line is about 8,000 RPM-ish, give or take, and then it, it changes gears just before it's hitting 5,000 flat. And I don't understand that. What is that? Is that a real life thing? Is that just a glitch or, or some weird oversight? And then the other thing I've noticed is exactly what this car has been doing to me as we're playing right now is in like from a standstill, it seems to just glitch around through its first gear endlessly, just constantly over revving in first gear instead of changing gears. Kind of like it's doing right now. And I'm honestly, honest to goodness, trying not to get busted. I don't want to. I want to finish this. Gosh! Can I go? I'm literally just getting pushed around in circles. I'm sorry. I'm yelling. Yelling's rude. Anyway. Alright, so I'm just, I'm actually just going backwards now to try to save my skin. Okay, if you have any sideways momentum, this thing just wants to drift sideways. By the way, I have this tuned with all gray parts to... Wow, is this is this what we're doing? Is this what we're doing? <laughs> I have it tuned with all gray parts, so it's at top of A level. One... or not... 149. 749 is its overall performance rating. And I would think that should be sufficient! But no, we're just... this is... this is what's happening. <laughs> Can I go forward? I'm already not going to finish this just beca because... Because... Well, that was fun. Bye-bye.